Carter Christian and I are here again for the Florida squeeze. Another really bad day for Democrats in Florida in terms of early voting. Uh, we're going to go through some of the numbers uh, in a minute. But uh, I wanted to uh, throw out a theory. And this could be just some willful optimism on my part as a, as a Democrat. Um, but perhaps we're seeing a return to more traditional voting by Democrats um, because we have a lot of vote by mail um, ballots that have not been returned, uh, particularly in the two most Democratic urban counties in the state, um, Orange County, which is Orlando, and Broward County, which is Fort Lauderdale. Um, in fact, at this point, Lee County, which is Fort Myers, has produced a significant amount of more significant amount more votes than um, which is Lee County is Fort Myers, very Republican area than Orange County. Um, that maybe we're seeing Democrats go back to voting on Election Day or go back to voting uh, in person early on weekends. Um, these patterns were disrupted by the by the pandemic, right? Twenty twenty in lots of vote by mail. Um, and then 2022, we uh, saw um, Democrats uh, vote by mail in, 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 in fairly big numbers. And it took, um, because of that, it took several days of in-person early voting for the Republicans uh, to take the lead in the state. Uh, and in fact, the Republicans ended up winning the governor's race by 19 points in, uh, in 2022. And I'm going to tell you the last two days of early voting have been worse for the Democrats than any two days in 2022. Um, so right now, statewide, what we've got, um, at least based on my projections and working a little bit with uh, our friend Dave Trotter over at Voting Trend, um, is basically a five point um, Republican advantage in turnout in, in terms of voters that have turned out um, in the state. Um, Close to 43% of the voters that have turned out out of cast ballots are, are, are Republicans, uh, a little bit under 38% are Democrats, and the rest are, are non or NPAs or, or uh, registered with third parties. Um, now, in terms of actual turnout among registered Democrats, the percentage is higher than among registered Republicans, but it was significantly higher before the last two days. Um, some county data, uh, the Republicans have now taken the overall lead uh, this afternoon in Pinellas County, where we just ran a poll, uh, which showed Whitney Fox in the dead heat with um, with Anna Paulina Luma. So that 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 that's um, uh, uh, an interesting change. Republicans now slightly ahead in terms of ballots cast in Pinellas County. Now, I should point out Pinellas County historically was a county where a lot of Republicans voted early by mail. If you look at Duval County, Duval, um, the Democratic lead uh, has been narrowed to a um, very, very thin number over the Republicans. But Duval County is a county where I do think we'll have a, a, a strong weekend turnout from Democrats uh, as Souls to the Polls has put in action. So that's um, that that's going the wrong direction for Democrats, but could could snap back. Uh, Orange County, uh, the voter turnout is very low. Democrats have about a 20-point lead in the county. That's what you would expect, but the turnout is low. Broward County, another Democratic county, um, turnout very, very low for a county that has 2 million people. Uh, Democrats have about a 28-point lead in the county. Again, big lead. We would expect huge lead. We would expect out of the Fort Lauderdale and Orlando areas, the Democrats to take huge more margins out of those two areas. Um, which they didn't do in 2022, but they've done in every other election um, in the last 20 years or last um, really Orange County flipped um, 2004, uh, 2008 time period is really when Orange moved in the direction it did. But let's say the last 15 years. Um, Palm Beach County, a uh, little bit of a disturbing trend here if you're a Democrat. Um, there have been uh, about 9,000 more in-person votes by Republicans in Palm Beach County, which is historically a Democratic county, but has been trending Republican recently, than um, uh, in-person Democratic votes. How, however, the Democrats have a two-to-one advantage in, in vote by mail in Palm Beach, um, really like 68-32, more, more than two-to-one in terms of uh, percentage there. Miami-Dade, um, which everybody is concerned about from the Democratic perspective, it's not going well in that county. 
Democrats have a slight advantage, uh, maybe about a, a three point, uh, as I calculated in my head, maybe they're about three points ahead overall, way down in the in-person voting, way ahead, uh, 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 slightly ahead in the, uh, in the vote by mail. Um, Hillsborough County, which is Tampa, um, is getting very close and could flip tomorrow towards the Republicans. Um, Democrats, of course, doing very well in Leon and Alachua County, where there are two major universities. Leon is Tallahassee, Florida State uh, University. Gainesville uh, is the home of the University of Florida. Those two counties, very solidly Democratic, uh, doing very, very well in the early vote for the Democrats. Now, I, I, I wanted to mention Lee County, um, which is a very Republican county in Southwest Florida, and talk about what we've got coming out of Lee County. We already have 121,000 votes cast in that county. And the Republicans, uh, over half the voters are Republicans, um, and there are almost as many NPA voters. There are probably about 22% NPA, about 25% Democratic of, of the rest of the, of the composition of the vote. Um, really sh stunningly high numbers coming out of Lee. And a, 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 as a point of comparison, we only have 100,000 votes out of Orange County, which is Orlando. So there are 20,000 more votes already cast in Lee County, which has about um, 750,000, 800,000 people uh, compared to Orange County, which has one and a half million. So um, a similar situation if you look at um, the counties that neighbor Orange, um, which are uh, Brevard, which is a very, very Republican county, um, Cape Canaveral, Cocoa Beach, that area, they, are, they have... Um, close to 80,000 ballots already cast, heavily Republican. Um, Republicans have about a 14-point edge there. And Lake County, another heavily Republican conservative county, has about 40,000 votes cast. And the Republicans have a, uh, about, a, a, I'd calculate, it's like a 13 or 14-point lead there. So this gets me to the greater subject here. I think it is possible what you're seeing in places like Orlando and Fort Lauderdale, or greater Orlando, greater Fort Lauderdale, those two counties, the two rock rib Democratic counties in the, in the state, uh, urban counties, is that we're going to see more in-person uh, Democrats, uh, in-person voting from Democrats this weekend and then on election day. I think the election day numbers aren't going to be quite as uneven as they were in 2020. Um, now, in terms of Hillsborough County and Pinellas County, uh, the Democratic numbers are, are not good. As I mentioned, I think we may be seeing the same phenomenon in the Tampa St. Pete area. A lot of Democrats that will vote Saturday and Sunday this weekend in early voting, and then uh, more Democrats voting on election day than we saw in 2020 or 2022. We have to remember the pandemic disrupted voting patterns, and it's very possible, uh, maybe even likely at this point, that people are going to revert to the way they voted uh, in 2016 or 2018. This is why predicting voter behavior is very difficult. And I know there are lots of experts that, that, that have blogs and uh, sub stacks and, and go on television and say that they, they can do this. And then oftentimes they're wrong. Um, voter psychology and voter behavior um, is evolving and changing. And it's very possible Democrats are just uh, uh, holding their ballots if they requested mail-in ballots. Um, uh, and and they'll get around to returning it, or they requested a mail-in ballot, because this is what we're seeing in particular in Orange County. A lot of Democrats request mail-in ballots. They go uh, then in person and vote at some early voting location in Orange County this weekend. Potentially, that's what's happening.